Over the last couple of years, there's been another long and difficult battle, the campaign to bring James Hardy to justice, to force it to meet its responsibility to victims of asbestos products. James Hardy had taken its assets overseas to escape paying compensation to victims of its products. The battle to make them pay was tough and it was emotionally draining. I can't remember a more difficult campaign. But the deal is now done. The agreement will see as much as $4 billion paid to victims over the next 40 to 50 years. This is by far the largest compensation settlement in Australia's history, and it shows what the Labor movement can achieve. And I'm proud of all of our role in that campaign. During the James Hardy campaign, I had the opportunity to work with someone who's pretty special. And I'm referring to my friend and my partner in the negotiations, Mr. Bernie Banton. He played an enormously important role. Would you please welcome him to the stage? Thank you, Greg. Thank you to everyone that's here today. I just want to express the gratitude in my heart for all the unions and their tremendous support through the fight against James Hardy. Without their support, we would not be standing here today with victory at hand. If these laws had been in place when we started the James Hardy campaign, we would not be able to have stood here today with victory at our grasp because these new IR laws forbid the unions to support us. So again, I'm here today to say thank you to Greg and the ACTU and all the affiliated unions for their tremendous support to victims of asbestos from now and on into the future. Thanks once again.